mass and balance signed, Peter static done, ground run done, fight failure stamp signed. Yes, it is signed. So. Okay. Yes. Fire extinguisher First in the cabal? Yes, in the cabal. First aid. What I'm doing now is just listening out for any possible debris or tools left behind in the aeroplane. There's a noise over here. Uh, 10 to 1, it'll probably just be a rivet mandrel, but I'll double check with the magnet. There it is. These uh, new aeroplanes pass so many inspections on the way to the flight line here. But they, by the time they get here, it's almost nothing I can. The last thing I always do is just have a look at the aeroplane, stand back. Does it all look right? And it does. At least any our tires are inflated, everything looks good to go. Right, the most important thing for me is the mass and balance. I did I asked him for the sign and it's 24.5% of Mac. And that's pretty normal for this type of aeroplane. No alarms or problems there. Total weight, empty weight 400, so that's good. It's not a heavy one. with all the other stuff so this can go I've got no seats in for the initial test flight and no passengers are allowed so fuel cock is on fuel pumps are on pumps are running I can hear them running fuel pressure is good looking for leaks change fuel tanks Watching the fuel filters, making sure there's no debris coming through and that the flow looks linear. I'm going to run the engine fade out check now. Both lanes are on and they've both switched off. Cycling the pumps now and they all feel fine. First thing I'm going to do, do with this airplane is um, oh, check the brakes. And they are working. So it's a brand new aeroplane. Telephone traffic can get Echo Delta is going to enter backtrack from where one one for the compass Um There's a couple of checks I do before I go and fly. Um, one I'll go and set the compass to make sure that that doesn't the magnetic interference. It's not a final check, but I can't proceed to do angle of attack or set up the autopilot until that is done. I'm going to restart the screen now in the config mode. Why not do that? I'm busy bedding in the brakes. Pick up a bit of speed. On the brakes. Okay, they probably better did now. So we finished the magnetometer calibration now. It's passed. It has a return system, these aeroplanes. I want to make sure that they've got that the right way. So I'll run on the left tank and I'll do a series of turns to the right, which will push the fuel away from the pickup. The fuel level will start dropping in the left tank. If by any chance they've got the return line wrong, as the fuel gets done to the low mark, it'll cut out. They're quite low on the left tank. Fuel is coming out the vent now and the alarm is coming on and the motor's still any good. That's the worst case scenario, all the fuel is now away. We'll do the same to the, of the right tank. Uh, maintenance airplanes are slightly more complex because you've got a single point of failure, one technician and one inspector. Whereas with these airplanes, multiple, multiple, multiple inspections. 16 page documents got to be filled out and signed before I even get to the seat here. Right, here we go, flight of another brand new sling aircraft, rolling. Full power. Engine sounds good, T speeds are all good, and it seems fine. Tracking house is straight, the air speeds are live. And the wheel airboard, what? A brand new sling. The last thing you want is a flat break or flat bend on landing. So I want to make sure they work up here so I can still deal with the problem. I know these airplanes so well. 
I'm looking at the tail GPS speed and the indicated A speed with the wind vector and the A speed seems right. I know these are replaced in this weight configuration should store around 47 in the clean configuration. So I'm gonna do that. Normally if the airplane's very far out of rig, I have a lot of ailerons being held in, I wouldn't bother with the stalling now. Just dangerous, so going into the stall. Waiting for the buffet on the airframe. I've got 45, 51, 49, 48, and 46 on the stall. Okay, so I know now when I'm landing, what I'm seeing is correct. So I don't have to worry about that. Oh, congratulations, swing aircraft, another one. Better and better all the time. Right, that's the end of the initial test run. Nice and high now, we're going to keep the aircraft. Obviously in the landing phase, I don't want to be short of the field in case something goes wrong. So my landing will be slightly difficult and different in the sense that I'll always be in reach of the airfield and the gliding distance. So we're just favoring two nine two field. Thank you, Delta Delta from Pluto. The field is going to descend into a nine ten downwind on the two nine. Delta 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 there we go. Touchdown. All right, mm -hmm. brand new sling. Two well done, team. Beautiful. These are beautiful. Two small rigging snags. We hope to be get this going in the next hour or two again. And finish up with the airplane in the next two or three days. So something else I see you. There's no trim tabs here for me, so I'm gonna write the C tabs. Shut down. Two avionics. Capital and the other aren't all. YB, Elena, let's do the wolf cross. Yay! How are you, Tom? Good right, afternoon, man. Well done. Thank you. Another nice one. Not many snags on this one. Okay. So there's clay in the stick. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This one is perfect. You can see that. Oh. Um, few pressure change on the main pump. Mm -hmm. So we just need to see that. If need be, I'll take it. Need, we, Need some trim tabs, right rudder trim release. Check the spring tension. Calvary There's quite right. a lot there. And then um, drop left flap two millimeters mm -hmm. and get my trim tabs to me. Okay. That's initial. Well done. Thank you very much. And your team. Okay, great. You'll call me when it's ready for the next one, eh? Okay. Cool.